I could grab the spider's threat. I will tell you the story of the great robber Kandata, who died without repentance and was thrown into hell, where he suffered for his evil deeds. It happened that one day Buddha was strolling on the shore of the lotus pond in paradise. He paused at the edge of the pond, and saw between the lotus flowers down into the depths of hell that lays directly below the lotus pond in paradise. Through the crystal clear water Buddha could see Kandata suffering in the depths of hell along with other sinners. Kandata was a master thief and the murderer who had killed many people Yet Buddha recalled, this criminal has done a single good deed in his life. Once when Kandata was travelling through a dense forest, he saw a spider crawling along the roadside. Kandata immediately raised his foot and was about to tremble it to death, when he suddenly thought, this little spider is a living being. Why should I take its life for no reason? So Kandata did not kill the spider, but placed it on one side of the road. In return for having done just that one good deed, I shall try to rescue this sinner from hell. Buddha saw nearby a spider spinning a silver web on a lotus petal. He took the spider's thread gently into his hand and lowered it between the white lotus blossoms straight into the distant hell. In the depths of hell, Along with the other sinners, Kandata was floating up and sinking back down over and over again. It was completely dark. Suddenly, Kandata raised his head and saw in the blackness above him a thin line shimmering in the darkness, slowly descending toward him. Kandata thought, if I cling to this thread and climb it to its end, I might be able to escape from hell. Ha! Ah, Kandata quickly took hold of that spider's thread with both hands and began climbing up and up, hand over hand. As a former master thief, he had done this many times. But because hell is quite far away from paradise, Kandata, after climbing for a while, got tired. It had to take a rest. While hanging under the thread, he looked down and saw that thanks to his effort, hell was now already hidden at the bottom of the darkness below him. Ha 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 ha! If I continue at this pace, Escaping from hell might not be as difficult as I expected. Wrapping his hand around the spider's thread, he cried out, <laughs> I'm saved! <laughs> I'm saved at last! <laughs> then he looked down again and saw hundreds of sinners from the bottom of the dark hell climbing up the thin spider's thread in a single file like a line of ants. Kandata froze from fear. How can the sin spider threat, seemingly strained even under the weight of just me alone, be able to support the weight of so many? If the set breaks, I who had had grain pains have climbed this far, and all the others we will fall headlong back into hell. So Kandata yelled down, Hey, you sinners! This spider threat is mine! Who allowed you to climb it? Get off! Just as he yelled at the other sinners, 
the spider's thread suddenly broke with a snap. Right where Kandata was hanging. Kandata, without even time to cry out, was falling head first back into the dark depths of hell. Only the broken spider's thread dangled in the air, glittering dimly. Buddha, standing on the shore of the lotus pond in paradise, saw everything. When Kandata fell like a stone to the bottom of hell, Buddha thought, Kandata wanted to escape just by himself. He felt no compassion for all the others. Falling back into hell, is a just punishment. And Buddha went on strolling, seemingly sad. But the lotus blossoms in the lotus pond of paradise were not concerned in the least about what had happened.